I was so excited to spot this on Tory Burch's website that I could not waste any time to add it to my cart. I have been thinking about getting a Chanel 19 in a black color for such a long time that when I saw this, I had to get it. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. In today's video, we are going to talk about the Tory Burch's new release, the Kira and the Diamond Quilting. When it comes to Tory Burch bags, I'm not super knowledgeable, but this definitely had my attention. So the Kira bag in itself is not a new launch of Tory Burch. So originally, I think three or four years back, she came out with this style of bag in a chamfron pattern, and it was super popular. Oftentimes people compared it with the YSL Lulu, and I totally get it. But now when I saw that Tory came out with this diamond quilting version, I mean, I had to get it. Okay. So long story short, I own a Chanel 19 in a off-white vanilla issue color in, a, in the small size and I absolutely love that bag. And for a while I have been thinking or wanting to add another Chanel 19 in a black color but of course those bags are super expensive. So when I saw Tory Burch came out with this version, I had to try it. So in this video, I'm going to share my initial thoughts on this bag and also show you what fits in this. And I'm also thinking of doing a comparison with the Chanel 19. So you kind of get an idea of, you know, these two bags of vastly different price ranges. So yeah, let's get into it. Let's start with the initial thoughts. Now, this bag, straight out of the box, it feels super luxurious. I mean, the leather feels really great. It looks really luxurious. It's very soft to touch. And the packaging is always top notch when we talk about Tory Burch, right? So that's, that's definitely there. Now, just by looking at the bag, like if I don't open the bag, just look at the bag, I feel like it is a mix of two different Chanel handbags. So just this part of the bag, like just the body of the bag, it gives me the feel of Chanel 19. And these two straps, I mean, it gives me the feel of Chanel double flap, the classic handbag in the jumbo size. So if you wanted a bag which was kind of a mix of the classic flap as well as the chanel 19 i guess this is just the perfect bag for that and um, right in the beginning of the video i had mentioned that i was craving for a chanel 19 um but the one that i have is in a, a smaller size and i was looking for something which was slightly bigger in size for like an everyday work bag but of course those bags come with hefty price tag and when i saw this i felt like this perfectly fit that bill and the size was just about right for that everyday sort of handbag all right, so now let's take a peek at the inside of the bag. So the closure is a magnetic closure. You can hear it. It's a pretty strong magnet. And the inside of the bag, it has two compartments. All right, it's uh, very well stuffed as you would expect from Tori. Uh, so, okay, yes. So the inside of the bag, it is sort of a linen material. It's a cloth material. It's not leather, which otherwise would have made the bag, it would have weighed it down a lot more. So it's kind of on the lighter side because it is a, a fabric. And then it has two compartments. It has two slip, it has two slip pockets here. And then a zipper compartment at the back of the pocket so that's about it two compartments this the front one big being the larger and this one is slightly smaller than the front and yeah that's it and this magnetic closure this is the side of the bag the bottom and this is the other side the top has two these grommets here and then you have this chain which is a perfect shoulder length chain at least on me i am 5'2 and i think this just hits me at the right spot you can also yeah you can also maneuver these chains and kind of use it as like a one shoulder bag which i would never do because this would be too long and i would never wear it as like a one shoulder or a crossbody bag just because of the size of the bag in itself okay so this is everything about the bag 
like the interior and the exterior. I love it so far. Now let's see what fits inside this bag. I went ahead and changed the angle of the camera so that you have kind of a better view of what goes inside the bag and also laid out some stuff for which I would normally typically carry on a daily if I'm going out for work. So to start with, let's start with this notebook. So this is like a smaller size notebook and let's see if it fits in this back compartment and yeah there you go it's this notebook it goes in no problem at all next i have these essentials which i would not leave my home without so i have this uh, key pouch next i have this car keys and my card holder so everything fits in fine this is an older phone which i brought out for demonstration purposes but the newer phone would be slightly bigger than this but yeah you will get a fair idea of how it fits in here and i could lay it flat but i just kept it um, in a vertical position and have no problem if you are someone who likes to carry a compact it will fit in here i typically don't but i brought it out anyways i have two lip products and uh, yeah, uh, one I'm going to put it in the back compartment, one in the front. And then I have a sunglass. So everything went in there without any problem. But if you wanted to add something else, I mean, there is some space. You could throw in like a hand sanitizer or something. I usually carry my hand sanitizer in my handbag, uh, in my car. So I don't feel the need of carrying one. So that's the bag. It. <laughs> It definitely feels heavy I mean yes the more stuff you are going to put in it's going to get heavier but that is everything that I have in this bag and there is room for more stuff if you want to put it all right now let's do a little comparison with the Chanel 19 but keep in mind the Chanel 19 that I have is in the smaller size and the Tory Burch bag that I just got is in the larger size. Now this Chanel 19, it does come in few different sizes. So this is the small, then there is this medium or large and there is a maxi. So if you were to get the larger size of the Chanel 19, it would most likely be very comparable to the Tory Burch size because now if I kind of hold them side by side, you can see, that the Tory Burch is quite big in all directions. Not only the, yeah, not only the width, the length, the height, in all directions, the Tory is slightly bigger. So that's the thing. Now there are, of course, there are some differences between these two bags, I mean, the style-wise. Uh, so this has only one compartment Oops, <laughs> it has only one compartment in the inside and it does come with a back pocket, which is very, very functional. I love this feature of this particular bag. And then of course it has this handheld kind of, uh, what is it called? A strap and then this crossbody strap, which has a leather bit here. So one disadvantage of this strap is you cannot adjust it it is the length of what it is and it's if this leather bit it fits right here right but when you kind of get it cross body you don't really wear your bag in this cross body like in a this shape hopefully you get what i'm saying either you move it to the front or you'd move it to the back and then this leather bit tends to move so yeah i mean i don't normally wear this bag in a crossbody so it doesn't bother me much i love this top handle uh thing so it works perfectly for me now going back into the tory brooch <laughs> this bag it does not have anything on the back so no back pocket there are two compartments in the inside and then it has these two straps which you can double up but they are non-adjustable so something to keep in mind and uh, it also comes with this leather bit so that it does not dig into your shoulder um that's pretty much it about this bag i mean in all honesty i think this bag 
is really luxurious it feels really good at least to the touch of it i don't know what kind of leather they have used but it looks very very luxurious now chanel 19 that i own is in a lambskin so it does feel a lot more softer it also came in a gold skin which i don't own so i won't be able to kind of comment on that but this one does feel a lot softer and this lambskin is a lot more durable than the one that you would get on um uh, in a double flap or in any other kind of chanel handbags that are out there so i have a trendy cc which is very very delicate i have to say that it is in lambskin and it is very very delicate but this is not as delicate i don't know what they have done to the lambskin but so far it has been going very strong so this one coming back to this one yeah i mean for the price i'm not saying that it's it's very cheap but of course compared to the chanel handbags this is uh more attainable and uh, yeah it, it it does feel nice to touch at least now i don't know how it's going to wear over time um but i have had other tory burch bags and they have served me well i have a lot of tory burch shoes um they are going strong so i would have high hopes from this bag so if you are thinking about this bag, I would say definitely go check out. It also comes in a mini version, which I think is so, so cute. So that's this bag. Let me know what you think of this bag, if you own it, or if you have been thinking about this bag. Yeah, so that is everything that I had to share. And I hope you have a lovely day or night. And uh, thank you for stopping by. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.